I'm sat here at home and I just completed my column for the local newspaper and I get a message through to say that Alan Wilson's colleague, Byron Blackett, has just died in a fire. So I go onto my YouTube and two of my watchers have been researching this and looking into this to confirm that a man died at the home of Alan Wilson, Byron Blackett, Terry Evans. Um, it turns out it wasn't last night. It was actually last Thursday. How slow things travel when people are researching King Arthur. And I was only thinking the other day that if you research and try to look at the truth in connection with King Arthur, you're going to get burnt. And that's not a pun. And that was probably the wrong word to be used. But we do know that an incendiary device was left at the home of Wilson and Blackett, 2011. And when we think about all these coincidences, anything to do with King Arthur, Eric Talbot, his career, eminent archaeologist, completely dissolves in the 1990s after excavating at St. Peter's. He's no longer with us anyway. We look at uh, Rich Hall's, Richard Hall's channel being taken off a few years ago. Um, popular channel that disappears. I have my brakes tampered with because I oppose the total destruction about what happens at the five mile lane in the Vale of Morgan. And at that stage, I'm you know, I'm communicating with Ross Broadstock, and this is in 2018. I'm not putting anything together. I'm just saying that um, there seems to be something odd about this whole King Arthur thing. I'm not a conspiracist, but I would say that if, if we look at this logically, we look at the tragedy, and I was only talking about this on Sunday. We look at the tragedy of the, the loss of Ross Broadstock, 2022, on Monday the 17th of October. It's just over a year ago. We look at the loss of Ross, and Ross, I know, was getting hold of all of Alan Wilson's notes and getting them typed up, and they, they were going to reappraise all this material and get it out in the public domain. That's not going to happen now, because I know that lots of the notes and stuff that were left at the house of Wilson and Blackett of since been destroyed even before this fire. So, and then that leaves us with the death of Alan Wilson. Alan Wilson, there's nothing sinister or nothing sinister about Ross Broadstock's death, but he just passed away too soon. There's nothing sinister about Alan Wilson's death on 30th of August, uh, Wednesday this year. Um... The only thing odd about this whole thing is this, is that it's just happened. It's just all of it's happened. And it's happened, lots of this has happened within a few years rather than, well, actually the three that have passed away have, have, have passed away within a short, very short period of time, very short window. So Baron Blackett, um, it's Terry Evans, isn't it? It's real name, uh, passed away. Thursday, December the 14th, apparently 11.20, in a house fire at their home in Newcastle. I, I don't know what to say. If I say any more, it's going to sound like a conspiracist. Um, all I can say is that, personally, um, I won't be talking about King Arthur or anything to do with St. Peter's Church or anything like this, because it's just not worth it. I'm not going to put my life on the line for something that um, is is, cu is purely contaminated. And all those who continue the work on of Ross Broadstock, Alan Wilson, best of luck, because I, I can't be involved with this anymore. So I can't. I, I've, I've got children. I've got a family. I've, I've, I've got work that I want to publish that's nothing to do with this whole King Arthur thing. I'm, I'm frightened as well myself. Um, and um, just be careful. For those that are carrying on with the work, best of luck. Please support and please follow. Thank you for watching this.